Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new chapter of Old Man Brad. Whether you are new to the show or returning for another chapter, thank you so, so much for giving this little horror podcast a listen. And if you love the show, drop me a review over on your favorite podcast app. I just would love to hear what you think of the show. Or you can become a patron at patreon.com slash oldmanbrad. All right, so this chapter, I have another Screenbox exclusive for you. I'm going to be talking We Are Zombies. This is from the trio RKSS, the team behind Turbo Kid and Summer of 84. But before we dive into it, if you're in the Cincinnati area, come out to Frightful Fridays on the third Friday of the month. I have a blast hosting a horror screening at the Esquire. And our screening for August is I Know What You Did Last Summer. I am super excited to be able to see this teen slasher on the big screen again. Come out August 16th, 10 p.m., and let's watch a movie together. Okay, let's move into it. Let's move into We Are Zombies. Can I get another milkshake? Overpopulation, diseases epidemics. We need to restore balance. I got another pickup for you. It's my father-in-law and it's important that he be treated. I think we got him. <laughs> With dignity. At Coleman, we're dedicated to unlocking secrets of the mind. Your colleagues have already taken. We got our pickup stolen. Big boy. Dating a core is unethical. Wow. Because masturbating to zilfs on the internet makes you a relationship. Oh, right. you want to go there? Yeah, I want to go there. <laughs> the pickup was a trap. We're here for a pickup. It was a trap. We work for Coleman. Grandma? You stole $25,000. We want the money back or sweet old grain over here goes bye-bye. In a city infested with the living impaired, a.k.a. non-cannibal zombies, three slackers after easy money must fight small-time crooks and an evil corporation to save their kidnapped grandma. This is directed and written by RKSS. So it's Francois Simard, Anouk Wissel, and Yuan Carl Wissel. They're the team behind Turbo Kid and summer of 84. The stars are three main slackers, Alexandre Nachi, Derek Johns, Megan Peta Hill. They play Carl, Freddie, and Maggie. And it has music by Le Matos. So if you are familiar with Turbo Kid or Summer of 84, they have this very synth wave throwback theme, and they do the same in this one, and it hits the spot for me. Right off the top, I'm going to say I absolutely had a blast with this film. I enjoyed my time a lot. It was such a fun film. Between this and Here for Blood this year, I feel like Screenbox is hitting the horror comedy itch for me this year. That Both of these films are just so are a blast. So this movie, you have these three slackers, and like the description said, they call them the living impaired. So zombies live among us, just living normally amongst everybody. So think of, I mean, we've had movies previously like Fido or Warm Bodies. This one, these zombies don't crave eating people. They just kind of either go through the motions of what they did as, you know, when they were living, kind of like... um Romero's Land of the Dead or Dawn of the Dead, where they're like, they're alive, but their brains just know this motion of what they were doing or things that they did. There are multiple kinds of zombies. Some of them can talk. Some of them can't. You know, some move better than others. I I think it just depends on either how they died, when they died, how fresh the body is. But I I like this twist on that, this kind of twist of, you know, zombies are just part of the world. They live amongst us. There is no threat with them whatsoever. And there are some scenes that are really funny with these zombies living amongst us. And then you have these three slackers that just, they're trying to make money. So kind of like a, a police scanner, they listen 
over and it it all starts off because they pretend to go pick up someone who is dead. Like this family has their grandpa who is dead, who lives there, but it's kind of like picking them up to take them to a home. You're going to take them to a zombie home because you're just done with them. And then there's this mega corporation that is trying to one part of it. They're trying to eradicate the zombies. So they come up with something that will kill them. And then there is a more evil type of person that wants to do a little more. Let's just say it's kind of like Resident Evil, where they want to create them into creatures. And as we go, like there is a lot of really, really good practical effects in this movie. There is a zombie that comes out towards the end. I'm not going to say what it looks like or what it is, but I liked the design of it and kind of how they, how this, this zombie looks, this zombie creature monster thing. I thought the design of the creature was great as I'm, I'm keeping this spoiler free. So not to really give much away, but for me, the jokes just landed right. The chemistry and the way these three leads kind of played off each other. Two of them are siblings. They're like half siblings. One's their friend and the friend, he likes the girl and he just wants to try to impress her. And she's, got this very hard you know fence up of she's tough and she doesn't want to leave herself vulnerable some of the jokes are funny one of them he's like this nerdy kid who's obsessed with these old horror zombie movies and this actress there are a lot of influences you can see throughout this movie i mean dawn of the dead not the living dead like i said land of the dead you can see zombie land influences with this like there there are many influences for what kind of came before this and it doesn't take anything away from it i enjoyed my ride through this movie and highly recommend getting on screen box and watching we are zombies i can't wait for it to come out on physical media so i can own it on blu-ray it was so much fun but yes we are zombies go check it out highly recommended so on my way out i have a couple other at homes because if you're on Screenbox and you get Screenbox and you're watching We Are Zombies and you're like, I have this subscription. What are some other things I should watch on there, Brad? Well, I mentioned it before. Here for Blood. Definitely go check that one out. That is a blast of a movie. I had so, so much fun with that movie. That one may end up on a list at the end of the year. I don't know. Just kind of watch for it. That's coming. A couple weeks ago, there was another one, Body Parts. It was an anthology film that was really good. Onyx, The Fortuitous, and The Talisman of the Souls, if you want more horror comedy. It's just nostalgic, goofy, silly, old-school practical effects, just dumb fun. But there's so much more on there. You know, Terrifier 2 and Heebie-Jeebie TV. That's another fun, silly, goofy anthology film that you should check out. But Screenbox, they're a wealth of a lot of great things. Their library just keeps growing and growing. If you don't have Screenbox, go get it. Go watch We Are Zombies and a whole host of other things. Because I don't think you'll regret it. Let me tell you that. Well, that will do it for another chapter of Old Man Brad. I'm done rambling. I've rambled enough. Just make sure you subscribe and you won't miss any episodes coming out, whether it's a Tales from Tubi, or more chapters of Old Man Brad. Coming later this week, I'll be talking about the new film starring Devin Sawa, Consumed. And next week, I'll be talking about the new Adam's Family film, Hellhole, coming to Shudder. But watch for both of those. If you're subscribed, you won't miss anything. Just snuggle up in that blanket, turn off the lights, because it's okay to be scared. We'll talk to you later, everybody.